so the process starts with a um, pallet with a subassembled switch coming on it into this way. It stops at this station here, gets lifted and located. And at this first station here, this plastic reversing lever is fed. It was on a feeding bowl and it made its way into this track here, down to this dead section. And then this handling unit would come back, pick it up, come over the nest here, and place it inside of that nest there. The table would then index. This is a dead station, does nothing. Then this station here would feed springs through this, we call it a tornado feeder, down this tube, which individualizes them. And then this thing here has kind of like a false bottom and then a pin. So it traps a spring resting on the false bottom. And then when this cylinder here fires, I think it's on this side, this moves and then springs pop out. So it puts one spring in each one of those little pockets on the plastic part, comes up, moves over, does it again. And this next station, table indexes, then this next station here comes down with these two little titanium fingers and they basically rest on the spring and then if there's a spring in there it pushes this up a certain amount and then this fat part of the inspection finger lines up with this sensor telling us there's a spring in there on both sides. That's awesome. Yep. Then the next station here would bowl feed and pick and place this um, silver plated contact two at once. There was actually a pair of them still in those grippers. Uh, the lever arm here would open up the nesting and put those two contacts in under spring load, then release the pressure on there, and then the pick and place gets out of the way. It spins again. The function of that station there is to simply flip the nest so that now the lever is kind of on the side. And then this thing here would come down, press on this little lever here, well, actually, first it come down, grip the part, press on the lever, and kind of do a handoff. Pick it up under spring tension, come over on the subassembly, and then strip it out. 